and welcome along to Dozzy's Television Workshop. Once again, we're in the car. Um, we're revisiting the Mini 1275 GT Speedo uh, that I built some months ago. Um, at the time when uh, we designed and built it, I published the details. You may have seen those and there's a video uh, about it. Um, and I also published the details uh, on a couple of mini forums. And um, there's one or two comments that uh, people didn't like the way the uh, pointer moved on the Speedo itself. Um, because we were using integer maths, and in fact we're still using integer maths, but I'll come to that in a second. Um, if you were, say, doing 60 miles an hour um, and you dropped 59, back up to 60, it would go click, click, move between those two things. So you've got this sort of jittering effect, um, which people didn't really like. And I can sort of see that point. Um, so I did make a move to use a floating point speed. Um, that jittered around just as badly, to be honest, because of the jitter from the satellite receiver itself. Um, so another solution was uh, come up with. I initially attempted to measure the vehicle's acceleration, um, but it was far too laggy. Uh, whilst it worked, um, the time it took to calculate the speed of sweep of the needle, um, well, you'd miss the event. It was just too long and awful. So um, what it now does is the GPS uh, receiver sets the pointer position and then the pointer moves towards it now if the pointer's a long way away it moves quickly and it'll slow down as it gets there and this has the effect of just smoothing out that movement so if you you are traveling at 60 and you go to 59 and then back up to 60 straight away it'll it'll move maybe maybe slightly maybe it will get there but it's um it smooths that movement out and it's uh, not got much lag to it and i'm i'm quite pleased with the results also for this video, uh, somebody sent me a GoPro Hero 5 so I can do that proper um, head-up display of the speed from uh, the Garmin um, equipment. So uh, there we go. Right, let's just power the unit up and I'll show you a couple of changes I made to the MFD while I was uh, changing the software. We've now got some warning messages in the middle of the second line of the display there. It says GPS. GPS currently isn't valid. Um, also in a second it'll flip over and say there you go it's CHG for charge it's because our voltage is currently below 12.6 um, volts um, it always reads a little bit low in this installation anyway because the electronics uh, isn't connected to the Citroen in the same way as it would be connected to the mini so there's a diode voltage drop in there I've also incorporated an ice alarm so if the temperature drops below three degrees it'll say ice in there and warn you of ice on the road Right, let's take it out for a spin and uh, you can then witness the marvellous smooth movement of the speedo needle. Right, let's uh, move off. Now what the needle's actually doing now is it's measuring GPS is still commanding the needle position, but it gives it a target position. And depending on the distance between the current needle position and the target position, defines um, the speed at which the needle moves. So it eliminates that sort of integer jitter without us having to resort to integer speeds. Um, sorry, without resorting to floating point speeds, which I found to be uh, Produced just as much jitter as the pointer did. Right. Just waiting for a bit of traffic. Accelerate quickly. The needle is still a little jerky when you're accelerating and indeed decelerating quickly, but once you're up to speed, it's um, it eliminates all that sort of shifting of one mile an hour that the previous version of the software did.
wondering why the way why everybody's trickling along at 30 miles an hour since I made the first video. It's a safe stretch of road, but um, the speed limit has been reduced from uh, 40 to 30. Right. Let's uh, give it some acceleration and take it up to speed. testing that um, a lot of the time the Garmin unit seems to be reporting us one mile an hour faster um, than my GPS unit and I wonder if that's done just to round the figures up a little so you don't get caught speeding I don't know it might be a feature worth incorporating drops below three miles per hour the unit automatically zeroes whether it's reached three miles an hour or not um, and then it drops to zero and at that point uh, there's a counter that's reset just to ensure accuracy although I didn't originally incorporate that and I've noticed no difference it was just a bit of a belt brace effect right just gonna stop here if I decelerate quickly you'll see the effect I don't think it's uh, that abhorrent to be honest there and there it goes stopped right there we go time to go home and uh, let me know your thoughts I'll uh, post the code up on uh, on my github page so if you've made something like this or made one or some, something similar um, you'll be able to download a smooth pointer version and try it yourself zero changes to the hardware none at all right cheers thanks for watching